Hi, this is Wanda from Alanda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little needle cases. Now you can make them plain with just a pretty piece of material or you can dress them up with some lace. The choice is entirely yours. So here we go, I've already got some needles in this one. So let's get started. So what we're going to need are two pieces of fabric. We want a lining and an outer and they are six and a half inches by five and a half. We want a piece of batting or fusible fleece. I'm going to use batting because I had some in my stash and that's six and a half by five and a half. We want two pieces of, you can use felt or um, batting. I have a piece of each here. You could use two pieces of batting or two pieces of felt, makes no difference. But they are four and a half by four. Then you want some fasteners. Now you can use these type of fasteners and if you use these you'll want to get some buttons just to cover up your stitching like we've done here. Okay so those are the dome type fasteners, snaps. And the button actually finishes it off quite nicely. You could use Velcro, um, you'll use probably have to use the sticky type uh, and it may not last for very long so um, I wouldn't use that unless I really had to. And then you could use these snaps so if you have one of those uh, type snap arrangements, you can use those and they're always lovely. So let's get started. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is take our piece of lining and we're going to put it right sides up and place it on top of our batting and we're going to find the halfway mark and draw a line. So this was six and a half so that's three and a quarter. I'm going to take my two pieces of insert and I'm going to find the middle mark there and draw a line. I'll place one on top of the other and I'm going to stitch that onto my lining and batting piece and I'm going to do a back stitch at each end just to make it a little more secure. So I'll go and do that and then I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay so I've sewn the inserts to my lining and batting as you can see here, back stitched at the top and at the bottom. Now if you're going to do any, um, add some lace or any other sort of embellishment, now's the time to do it onto your front piece here. Otherwise, simply take the front piece and lay it right side down, so we have right sides together for the lining and the, and the main piece. And I'm going to sew it all the way around, leaving an opening at the top of about three or four inches, doing a little back stitch, come up here, turn, pivot, down, pivot, cross up and back to here leaving this little piece open to turn the uh, to turn the needle case through. Okay so I've sewn all the way around with a quarter inch seam uh, except I've left my little opening at the top here. Okay so I can turn this through and you can see here. Now I'm just going to trim the corners. Try not to cut your stitching or you'll have to do it all again. So and just cut some of that bulk into the corner. Cut that away and I'll do that on all four corners. Okay, and then we'll turn it through. Okay, there we go. And then you want to push your corners out. And I've got a little gadget that I'll do that with in a moment, but I'll just roughly show you. Okay. So we'll neaten that all up and we're going to go and give it a press and we'll press these seams, seams in here so that it's nice and neat. And then when we've given it a nice good press, we'll do a top stitch all the way around at about a sixteenth of an inch and around the sides. So I'll go and fix this all up, push the corners out and, uh, and press this. Okay, so I've turned it through now and I've pushed all the corners out so they're nice, nice and neat and I've given it a good press. Plus I've pressed the, uh, the seam here so that it's nice and crisp and it'll close nicely. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to top stitch all the way around. You can do a sixteenth or an eighth, but I'm going to do about a sixteenth all the way around. Okay, and that will seal in that, that opening there as well and just give it a nice finish. So I'll go and do that now and I'll come back in a moment. Okay, so now I've finished top stitching around the edge and caught in that opening. So now we need to apply our fasteners. Now I'm going to be using one of these snaps, so you just use follow the instructions that come with your little gadget to do that. But if you're going to use this method with the, uh, with the snap fastener, the dome type fastener, then take your button, find your halfway mark, 
and take your button and just anchor it with a few stitches to start with just to keep it in place and then you can add your snap on the other side and then sew that through okay and you'll do the same on the other side put your button on first anchor it with a few stitches and then start sewing with your with the other part of your snap so that's it I'll go and put my fastener on and then I'll come back and show it to you finished okay so I've applied my snap and so now my little needle case is finished and I've even got some needles in there look at that so these are great little items for gifts and they're so quick and easy to make so if you've enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great tutorials